Hi and welcome to my second podcast along with Gurudev's painting. Today I am about to promote something. Yes, I have worked with a couple of brands. Being an artist, I have worked with popular brands like Karin Markers, Thuvi, Itsy Bitsy Craft Store and Anupam Stationery. In all these, I have earned commissions and or freebies that would enrich my art journey or experience. But today, I'm going to promote a tool that has really connected me to my innate creativity. For an artist, creativity is the fuel. Creativity is the only currency. Creativity is the drive that keeps the artist going and keep creating every single day. And I owe to this one of a kind tool so so much. I have so much to thank this tool for keeping aside its contribution to my creativity alone. It has connected me to my inner creative inspiration so deep, deeply that I started enjoying the process of creating even more than ever before. What the tool is, I will reveal it in a while, but I would it wouldn't be great to see you go just like that. So, stay tuned till the end for I have a lot to tell about this tool and trust me, what it could have given me is and is giving me is beyond beyond any commission or freebie. So, hang on. Well, so back then during my college days, I was going into uh, I was only into studies and I had given up my creative side completely and was only into studies. Getting good grades was the only thing I knew and was quite feverish about it. I was in a shared room and was facing many challenges as a fresher. I was doing good academically but a lot of things would keep me up in the night and I was aware I was just surviving. I I knew um, I wouldn't be able to make it long if this was going to continue. I had grown too touchy-feely. It was the first time when I was so far away from the people I called my loved ones, my family. I had also recently suffered from some big diseases that is chicken pox two times and was carrying their consequences in my body with a fatty liver, very weather sensitive lymphatic system, terrible hormonal imbalances, frequent migraine attacks and mental anxiety. I had not done up to my expectations in my 12th grade and JW just because of these diseases that I faced with and I was struggling to accept that, par- that part of my, my journey. Plus, I had joined the finance club of our college no and would spend a, a lot of time there watching participating and collaborating with the terrible and with the next set of making classes uh, the college fests were uh, out of my way to the corner the and experience the teacher was peak. busy making all the installations but somehow I was just somewhere not connecting to it yet and also with the people around even in TFAC I would still find it difficult to connect with people there and fear had big time partying over my head. I still had few people there uh, who I felt I would little connect uh, better than with others. Uh, One of them was Srishti and she had once posted a notification uh, on the Fine Arts Club group about Yes Plus program of the Art of Living. I was very reluctant to join any such program as I didn't believe in it. My mom, however, had recently attended a similar program in our hometown and was pretty much pushy about me to join one. So I joined. The program was 4 days long and would happen for 2 hours or more each day. On the first day, I had an art competition, so I preferred going to the art contest. Shristi was constantly telling me, Silena, don't miss it, go for it, uh, the S plus course, uh, art competitions will keep coming, this course can't wait, go Silena, go. 
<clears throat> I was little skeptical as to why this girl was being so pushy. Any which way, I completed my painting and then only I went. The moment I entered the hall, I saw a young lady seated with a couple of VITNs in front of her, and beside her was a photo of this bearded guy. Shri Shri I was Ravi like, Shankar. I was a similar Baba like him. Just got me. caught in a scam. I can't believe in the world my mom just pushed me into a course of another scammer, and that Shristi too. Well, having a spiritual inclination since childhood, I was open to the knowledge points being shared by the teacher, but my ego couldn't accept that bearded man in that photo. Plus all the judgments and preloaded anxiety, my my mind was rushing. I was, you know, it was making it worse sitting there. I just wanted to run away. Somehow, I managed through the course. Uh, I mean, that first session uh, to just let the talk of the lady uh, Namrata Singh pass over my head and come back to my room. Uh, but because paise to bhar diye the, to jana hi tha. So next day, it was the uh, I, I went again. But but it was it was the deal breaker this time. Seriously. <laughs> I got the tool I was talking about all along in this video. I experienced my first Sudarshan Kriya. By the time Sudarshan Kriya got over, I didn't know where I was. I, it was a deep trance, probably. I, all I remember is that we were made to lie down after Sudarshan Kriya, and that's it. It. Felt like uh, I had the deepest rest of my entire life that day. Wow! It felt like uh, a couple of days passed and I was sleeping. I didn't know what has ha ha happened. I I lost the idea of time, the idea of mind, and anything. I I did. I I was just in a no mind state kind of. I don't know what was there. I can't even remember. Wow, wait, where was that? <laughs> but when I got up, I mean, where was that anxiety, those doubts, that mess in my head, and that heaviness in my heart? Where were they? My stupid mind was not even in a position to question all those. How still it was! O M G! I can't explain. I wanted not to get out of the state anymore. I was feeling so fresh. I was looking at that bearded man's photo again while the teacher was saying something which I did not take notice again. But this time, uh, I was looking at him in a different light. Uh, a deep inner gratitude was flowing out of me towards him. I knew, for it was him behind the stool. So this man's got something for sure. I wasn't happy, but I wasn't sad either. That lazy me. That time I was so lazy, and I would spend most of the, my time ruminating. That lazy me was ready for the next day early in the morning, and magically nobody had to give me a wake up call. I myself went to Srishti's room and I was ready for the third day session. The whole day I had smiled ear to ear and had slept very peacefully after a long time. My roommates were like, "Lena, you are in love, ba? New love? Only smiling whole day?" I said, "Yes, I'm in love. I'm in love with something I didn't know." And that yes plus happened. I fell in love with Sudarshan Kriya, and only had to fall fall in love with Sri Sri Ravi Shankar uh, later onwards because I I couldn't help it. I had to fall in love with this man who got Sudarshan Kriya into my life. Is amazing. I mean, what to say? Kya kahena? I would diligently do it every day and uh, would eagerly wait for weekends when Namrata Di would come for follow ups. 
I got a great group of friends back then uh, from the same art of living group and would hang around and would do uh, Sudarshan Kriya together uh, and going back to my room I would sit at my desk creating something every day. This change had happened in me because Namrata Di would say the importance of creativity and hobbies. I started embracing art again and Namrata Di was my god back then. Whatever she would say, I would do. Uh, so my creativity started restoring. Something that I had left in the middle, in, in, in the pursuit of my over ambitiousness. Something I was born with. Something that I would only pace something that would only pacify a notorious kid like me during my childhood days. The Fine Art Club members uh, inspired me a lot to have something going on uh, on my social media too. Hence, Silena's art gallery came into picture. I didn't create for fame, but I started getting popular in college as an artist. Uh, I, I still remember uh, some people uh, some people, not some people, some guys uh, of my batch only coming up to me during my farewell and wanting to click a picture with me. I didn't know those guys, but uh, they said that they knew me as an artist. So, well, it, uh, I really got quite popular as an artist during those days and also as an art of living volunteer. Uh, so, did many commissions, collaborations, was invited as a judge in prestigious institutes like IIT Madras and I, IIM Vishaka Patnam presented to uh, and got re recognized by celebrities, did exhibits and a lot more. My art journey is very sp has been very fulfilling ever since then and my uh, art of living journey as well. Uh, it got revived with Sudarshan Kriya, art and art of living kept on going hand in hand and it's still going on. My creative inspiration never stopped ever since then, ever since my first Sudarshan Kriya. I create regularly just like I practice Sudarshan Kriya. My inspiration never gets over even when I am done for the day. Sudarshan Kriya, thank you for being and dear bearded man, dear Sri Sri, my Guruji. Thank you for bringing this tool to me and the entire world. It's not a product, it's a gift. Only the one who has experienced it can say it. Would you not like to wish Sudarshan Kriya by the way for it's the 41st birthday of Sudarshan Kriya today? Yes, it's the 41st birthday of Sudarshan Kriya. And by the way, if my story made you feel like knowing more about Sudarshan Kriya, even the littlest bit, don't refrain, I'm leaving my email ID in the description. Write to me and I will love to share more uh, details about the program, uh, Sudarshan Kriya program, which now you can enjoy uh, and learn from the comfort of your own home as Sudarshan Kriya programs now happen online too. If you are new to my channel, do subscribe and share this podcast with your friends, especially who are often faced with creative blocks. Maybe they can be helped. This Gurudev's painting I made during his birthday and posting it long later now. And uh, the sponsor partners of this video are the Soulful Shades Handmade Sketchbooks and Thuvi Arts Paints. I'll be leaving links to the websites of both these beautiful brands in my description for you to buy from them whenever you feel like and that's all i am done with my podcast see you again stay happy stay blessed have a great for great rest of your day bye